Hey everyone, it's me, OSX iOS God, and this here is my second video that I'm pretty excited about. So today I'm actually going to be showing you a tutorial on how to record phone conversations on your smartphone using your Mac. Uh, so for this demonstration, I'm actually going to be using an iPhone 4, but this should also work with actually any phone that has Bluetooth enabled. But you shouldn't take my word on that just because I've never tested it, so you'll just have to try it out for yourself. So I'm just going to give you a little background story here. So let's say you get a call from your mobile phone provider. In this case, there's a lot here. And they they told you that you're a longtime customer and they want to reward you with more minutes, free voicemail, more data, and anything else you want to chew on. So you're thinking, wow, this is finally my lucky day and I'm ca finally catching a break with these guys. And you're finally thinking things in your life are going to start changing until you receive that dreadful bill in the mail. Now you notice that your bill has actually doubled in price and you're beginning to think this is kind of outrageous and the sales rep never told you once that he would start charging you for these services. So you call your provider back fuming only for them to tell you that there's actually nothing they can do about it. And sometimes don't you wish that you actually would have recorded this conversation just so you can refer back to it and maybe just tell them they were wrong or maybe you can listen back to it and actually listen to see that they were actually right and they did tell you about it. So. That's basically what I'm actually going to teach you in this video is how to actually do just that and record the conversation. Now, I'm, uh, basically I'm not going to be talking about the laws here just because whether it's legal or not, that's really not uh, my duty. You should actually just look that up on your own just because it really depends on the location that you're from. But it is legal in most places just as long as the person recording the conversation is also one of the parties involved in the conversation. And... Um, so basically I've been spending the last day or so trying to figure out how to do this and I find for a lot of people um, they're actually trying to find a reliable app and there's really not that many out there. Um, one of the options that you will find is Google Voice. Google Voice is actually probably the best option out there and it actually allows you to record um, the conversation within the app and it also gives you your own phone number. Now the only problem with the service is it's actually only available to people in the United States. For all other folks, you're actually kind of out of luck and you'll have to go look for other options. Now when you do some research, you'll find out that you actually do have some apps available for this specific purpose. But the only problem with this is it's against the iPhone's API and they actually have to create ways around getting around this. So some of the ways they do this is actually with three-way calling. So basically the way it works is they have a phone call you and then you basically merge the two calls together and it records the conversation going on with the other two parties. But the problem with this is they're actually charging an hourly service, an hourly rate for this service and it's usually around $2 an hour. Now the other option you have is also VoIP. Basically what that does is it gives you a phone number kind of like um, Google Voice does and then you can actually make phone calls using that VoIP service. Now the problem with that is usually they would have a monthly or yearly fee as well. Now the other thing that's also available to you is Bluetooth devices that also record the conversation. So the way these things work is they actually pair with your existing smartphone through Bluetooth and they actually record the conversation and it's definitely a really cool gadget but this gadget will actually cost you upwards of $130 or more. And what actually sparked this idea for me is that since these devices can actually record through Bluetooth, uh, technically your Mac should also be able to record through Bluetooth as well since it does have Bluetooth enabled. <coughs> Sorry about that. So um, yeah, so basically that's what sparked this idea of actually trying to do this. And I found that you actually could do this through um, some specific apps available through the App Store. And I found that there weren't actually any other tutorials available for this. And this is actually the first one. So that's pretty cool that I'm, I'm pretty excited that I'm the first one to actually make this tutorial. So you will need some devices to actually be able to do this. The first one is of course a MacBook that has Bluetooth enabled, which pretty much all of them do. And you'll also need a Bluetooth enabled device such as, uh, sorry about that, such as um, a smartphone, an iPhone, or anything like that. And um, basically you are going to need some apps for this, and they are all available in the Mac App Store. You don't have to download any new apps for your smartphone, since all the apps you're going to be using are all on the Mac. 
So there are two apps you are going to need for this. The first one is called Phone Amigo, and the other one is called All Audio Recorder. So first I'll go over Phone Amigo. And what this basically does is it turns your Mac into a hands-free Bluetooth device. So it connects your phone through Bluetooth to your Mac, and you can basically use your Mac like a phone after this. So basically when somebody gives you a call, you can actually answer the phone, the call directly from your Mac and uh, basically use it like a telephone, but it, it is using your existing um, phone service. And what's great about it is it actually has call display features. So as I said, if somebody calls you, it'll actually show the call display on your Mac. And there's also a 21 day trial available that you can find through a quick Google search. Now, if you want to buy the full version, it is going to cost $29.99, which is not steep by any standards, but that is how much the developers are charging. Now, the next app I want to go over is called All Audio Recorder. So basically what this app does is it records audio coming in and out of your Mac. So it records both the input and the output. Now, the reason why this is important is because uh, there are a lot of apps out there that record input. But if you're not recording the output as well, then you're not going to be hearing the voices coming from the other line. So it is important that you get both the input and the output. And the other great thing about this is it works with Mountain Lion. Now, there are a lot of other apps out there, but I find that a lot of them aren't compatible with Mountain Lion, and I find that this one is. Now, they have a light version available on the Mac App Store, and it will allow you to record for 50 seconds, which is pretty short. But you could buy the full version, but that's also going to cost you $19.99, which is not cheap. It's $20. I would expect like an app like this to cost $10 or less, but that is what the developers are charging. So now I'm going to go proceed on with the demo. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to assume you already know how to use the Mac App Store and you've already downloaded the required apps to be able to do this. If you don't know how to do this, you can comment or leave a message, but I'm definitely not going to show that in this video because it is going to take some time. And um, after you do that, you'll also want to make sure that you have Bluetooth enabled on both your Mac and your smartphone. Now to do this on your Mac, it's really easy. You just go to System Preferences, and there's a section here called Bluetooth. Just click on that. And then just make sure this checkbox up here that says on is enabled. Now on your smartphone, it's pretty easy as well. This is an iPhone, but it'll be a little different depending on the device you're using. So all you have to do is go to Bluetooth over here and then just make sure it says on right there. And it is right now it is searching for devices. So after you have Bluetooth enabled, let me just see what you have to do next. Oh, yeah, so make sure you have the apps downloaded, as I said. Um, when you open the All Recorder app, <clears throat> it will look something like this. And it's a pretty self-explanatory app. It's pretty user-friendly, I would say, and it's pretty easy to learn how to use. Now, when you first get this app, this checkbox up here, which says Record Computer Audio, is not going to be checked. When you do check this, <clears throat> it's actually going to make you download a plugin. And the plugin is actually over here. It's called uh, Git the Audio Device. So basically, what this um, plugin enables you to do, or enables the app to do, is to record um, audio coming out of the the Mac. So basically, after you install that plugin, it's actually going to make you restart, and then you'd be able to record the computer, the audio coming out of your computer. Now. Um, the other thing you want to make sure is you have this box up here checked as well, which says record built in. Just choose the proper audio device that you're using to record. In my case, I'm using a built in microphone. So just make sure you have that checked off. And after that, the program just works as it's supposed to. Now, the other app you're going to need, as I said, is called Phone Omega. Now, when you download the app, it actually doesn't even uh, put an, um, an icon over here in your dock. The icon is just up here on your menu bar. So basically, um, you're going to click this and go to your preferences. And when you see this interface, it does look a little intimidating. But we're not going to worry about all these other tabs here. The only ones we're going to be worrying about is this main tab and the more tab. So in the more tab, just make sure you have these set to your system defaults. Or you can actually set it to the proper device if you know what you're doing. 
basically what this does is if you go to your sound settings in system preferences it sets it to whatever uh, default device you have set up here so in this case I have it set to my external microphone for input and then my headphones for the output so just set that up and then the other area you're gonna have to worry about is this area called main so just click on that and in this section just make sure you have enabled telephone devices checked and all the other stuff you don't really have to worry about okay so after you've done that uh, next thing you're gonna do is pair it with your phone so this is actually really easy just um, click this plus button right here and make sure you also in the Bluetooth section on your on your iPhone or your whatever smartphone you're using and then over here there's a uh, drop down list just choose Bluetooth cell phone and then choose iPhone or in my case it's an iPhone from your devices and then just hit attach device and then it's going to locate all the Bluetooth devices in the area in this case is only one over here in the services name choose hands-free gateway and then hit the select box at the bottom over here <clears throat> Um, so basically in the pairing process, it's going to ask, um, does this match with the number that's showing up on your phone? Yes, it does. So I'll hit pair on my phone and I'll hit yes over here. And as you can see, it says connected and ready. And on my iPhone, it also says it's connected as well. So great. Everything's connected. After you're done that, you can actually go ahead and make a call already. So um, to make a call, it's very easy. All you have to do is click this button right here and place call. You can actually also do this from your smartphone, or from your iPhone, but uh, I'll just do it on my desktop here. So I'm just going to call a random Bell phone line. Oh, you also have to get your recording device ready, so you, that way you can actually record the conversation when it's happening. And then I am going to place the call. So here it is. As you can see on my iPhone, it is also calling. And make sure on your iPhone it is set to your um, to MacBook for the Welcome. audio source. For English, press 1. For le français, appuyez sur le 2. Oh, whoops. I actually forgot to start recording, so I'll start recording right now. So now it's actually recording the conversation that's going on on the phone. Um, Please this is choose one of the following five options. For your account balance, usage, payments, or other billing inquiries, press 1. For technical support, press 2. So I just hit 1. For your account balance, press 1. For your it's basically usage, asking press me two. for my account balance. To make balance. a payment by credit card, press 3. To talk to our team for all other inquiries, press 4. To go back to the main menu, press, press 8. Five. Okay, so uh, these are actually just for demonstration purposes. I'm not actually having a conversation here. But I'm just demonstrating we to you guys to show you that it is working. Please make a okay. selection. Anyways, I'll end this phone call. The phone call is ended. And uh, by the way, all that audio that you heard is coming from the computer, not my phone. And let's just see if it did record. So we'll hit stop here. And as you can see from the recordings, a track showed up. So let's just double click this to see what we recorded. So now it's actually recording the conversation that's going on on the phone. Um, Please is, choose one of the following five options. For your account balance, usage, payments, or other billing inquiries, press 1. For technical support, press 2. So I just hit 1. For your account balance, press 1. For your it's basically usage, asking press me 2. for my account to make balance. make a payment by credit card, press 3. To talk to our team for all other inquiries, press 4. Okay, so yeah, you basically get the idea. Did it record the conversation, and it worked exactly how it was supposed to. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That was pretty much the whole demonstration. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Um, for any questions, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. And you can also follow me on my blog at osxiosgod.wordpress.com and also my Twitter page at twitter.com slash osxiosgod. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day, man. Peace.